The white cane is an essential tool that gives those who are blind the ability to achieve a full and independent life. It allows our blind neighbors to move freely and safely, to explore and navigate our environment, and to, as President Lyndon Johnson said, come and go on their own. They allow, allow blind people to move freely and safely, but more importantly, provide the ability to travel independently and live independent lives. We must recognize the importance and continue making every day, every effort possible to empower those with disabilities. White Cane Awareness Day is truly a symbol of independence for those who are blind and a recognition of the work we have ahead of us to offer full opportunities to those who are blind. This includes efforts to expand employment opportunities in the labor market on both the county and the state level. So we recognize White Cane Awareness Day every year, technically on October 15th, and recognize the important role the White Cane plays in giving blind people the ability to live independently. Today, we are joined by Debbie Brown, Tom Bickford, Yasmin Reyazunid, and Dante Wren. Ms. Brown, um, are you with us as well? Um, yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, let me turn it over to you for some brief remarks and then we can read the proclamation. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm Debbie Brown. I am president of the Sligo Creek chapter of the National Federation of the Blind of Maryland. And I'm, I don't own a camera, so um, oh. um, I'm just a little, I'm a little backward here. Um, <laughs> so, but I appreciate um, um, President Hucker for, for um, proclaiming White Cane Awareness Day. Now, the, we, it started out as White Cane Safety Day to teach people to be careful about blind drivers and make the streets safe for blind, uh, blind people, <laughs> protecting blind people from drivers who, who didn't pay attention. That's what I meant to say. And it, now we try to expand it to White Cane Awareness Day. Um, and we want to make sure that people are able to travel freely with their white canes. And we want people to be able to do what it is they intend to do when they get to wherever they are traveling. So we, we have expanded our interest to, in the proclamation, you're going to hear some things about employment because most one place you want to go is to work so you can make some money to travel where you want to travel. And we are also concerned about accessibility issues. Um, of our employment, our workplaces, so that we want our technology to be accessible. Um, and we do commend the county for addressing the issue of, um, of accessibility of our streets. And we have, you know, we're happy to many of us are contributing to that effort and we're happy for the work that's been done. But Unfortunately, the county does have some work to do in this area. So accessibility is an ongoing issue, and we are certainly interested in helping the county to make our streets more accessible, to make our environment a friendly place for blind people and people with disabilities. And I want to introduce to you the people that are here with me today. Um, I have Yasmin Reyesiden, who's a member of the Sligo Creek chapter, and uh, in her day job, she works for the Montgomery County government. Um, and we also have Tom Bickford. I think Tom Bickford is our oldest member of our, um, our chapter, and he has been in the county for a long time. And he has also written a book called Caring Feeding of the Long White Cane, which is... Um, one of the very few books that teaches blind people how to travel independently because it was once thought that blind people ought not to try that on their own. Um, but um, he thought that it was a good idea for people to have that information. So um, we thank you for uh, this proclamation and um, we can turn this back over to you, uh, President Hucker. Uh, thank you so much, Ms. Brown, and thanks to all of you for being here. Uh, let me read the proclamation. It begins, this is a proclamation of the Montgomery County Council, whereas the white cane demonstrates and symbolizes the ability to achieve a full and independent life and the capacity to work productively in competitive employment, and whereas the white cane empowers people who are blind with the ability to move freely and safely from place to place, makes it possible for those who are blind to fully participate in and contribute to our society and to live the lives they want, 
And whereas every resident should be aware that the law requires that motorists and cyclists exercise appropriate caution when approaching a person who is blind and may be carrying a white cane. And whereas Maryland law also calls upon employers, both public and private, to be aware of and utilize the employment skills of our residents who are blind. And whereas Montgomery County and the state of Maryland, through its public agencies and with the cooperative assistance of the National Federation of the Blind of Maryland, can and should facilitate the expansion of employment opportunities for and greater acceptance of individuals who are blind in the competitive labor market. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, proclaim October 19th, 2021 as White Cane Awareness Day in Montgomery County and calls on our schools colleges and universities to offer full opportunities for training people who are blind, on employers to hire individuals who are blind, and on all residents to recognize the white cane as a tool of independence for those who are blind and respect pedestrians using a white cane on our sidewalks and on our roadways presented on this 19th day of October 2021. Um, thank you, signed by myself as council president. Thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, stay in close touch with us and let us know every way we can help.